Good afternoon and welcome to a WNCT Now update. I'm Kayla Schmidt with WNCT 9's top headlines. Let's jump right into them. Dr. Philip Rogers starts his first day as chancellor at East Carolina University. The Greenville native calls this role a homecoming for his family and him. Dr. Rogers served as policy analysis at ECU and worked for external relations at the school. Dr. Rogers says his team plans to bring students back on campus in a safe and smart way. His team is working to have student life back to normal in the fall of 2021. He also says his team is also looking at expanding athletic enterprise and economic impact. Kinston police are investigating a shooting that killed 36-year-old Jerome Gladson. Officials say it happened on Snow Hill Drive on Sunday. They say another 36-year-old man was injured and is being treated at UNC Lenore Healthcare. His name is not being released. In Greene County, the Department of Public Health will no longer be adding additional names to the COVID-19 vaccine waiting lists for groups one through four. Officials say if you are currently waiting and have not been scheduled for an appointment, to call and make a new appointment and ask to be taken off the waiting list. If you are eligible, you can call Monday through Friday from 8 in the morning until 5 p.m. You must make an appointment. No walk-ins will be accepted. We're going to head over to the Weather Center now for your seven-day forecast, followed by a short break. We'll be right back. Happy Monday, everybody. I'm your Storm Team 9 meteorologist Alex Wasilenko reporting from the WNCT studios in the Storm Team 9 Weather Center. We have gone now 14 straight days without measurable rainfall here in eastern North Carolina, but things will begin to change this week as we enter more disturbances into the forecast as the week wears on. The rest of this afternoon, though, going to remain dry, breezy, and cool with temperatures in the upper 40s to mid 50s. Past midnight tonight, though, that's when isolated showers work back into the forecast. It all comes as an area of low pressure and attending boundaries move through. The showers overnight isolated in fashion turn a bit heavier and more intense by your Tuesday morning commute. Tuesday itself will feature those scattered showers, heavy downpours, and isolated thunderstorms. By late in the day Tuesday, Tuesday evening in particular, here's the center of circulation located along the outer banks with that area of low pressure. It'll continue to fly out to sea Tuesday night into Wednesday morning, giving way to a brief area of high pressure for midweek meaning a return to some sunny skies, dry conditions, and also warmer temperatures for your St. Patrick's Day on Wednesday. To follow up with that forecast anytime during the week, be sure to download that free Storm Team 9 weather app. The rest of your work week here in eastern North Carolina, lots of ups and downs and many fluctuations from temperatures to precipitation chances. Today will be quiet. Tuesday will be active. Wednesday, St. Patrick's Day will be quiet as well. But Thursday into Friday in particular, we're going to be watching for the chance for severe weather here in eastern North Carolina. Scattered strong to severe thunderstorms may be possible Thursday as a strong cold front moves in. We also can't rule out the threat for isolated tornadoes. Again, this is Thursday into Friday. Friday to wrap up the work week it is looking quite active as severe weather season waits for no one make it a marvelous rest of your Monday everyone I'm your storm team 9 meteorologist Alex Wasilenko severe weather can make life difficult especially here in the east dropping temperatures school closings freezing rain ice and snow gusty winds over 20 miles an hour a freezing fog advisory is in effect Chief Meteorologist Jerry Jackson and his team of weather experts keep you ahead of any storm. And this rain shield continues to pump in. Storm Team 9, keeping you safe in severe weather. In the WNCT Digital Studio is online for you. Live afternoon news updates. Continuing to track COVID-19 cases. Don't forget the positive news with Feel Good Friday. How about we break out some dance moves to kick off your weekend? Remember to see the good in each day. And if you're looking for your next eatery, Digital Dining has you covered. Tonight we're visiting Cucina La Mantilla. We visit Blend in Jacksonville. We're visiting La Cocina del Colqui. These and more on WNCT Now under the live stream tab. 
Welcome back and thank you for staying with us. Millions of people will be eligible to get the COVID-19 vaccines this Wednesday. North Carolina health officials say starting March 17th, the first set of people in group four will be able to get their shots. Included in this group are those with high risk medical conditions, the homeless and the incarcerated. Officials say 4.1 million people make up this group, making it the largest to become eligible at one time. To see if you qualify, you can visit our website. Testing continues for a new smartphone app that will help track who has or has not received the COVID vaccine. The vaccine passport app would verify a person's COVID vaccination or prior COVID test before going into a public space or venue. The printable information is similar to a mobile airline boarding pass and can be stored in a phone by using a QR code. The app is not available for download download yet. That is all for your 130 digital news update. I'll see you at four. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Kayla Schmidt.